Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to show you how we build our new DIY wooden guinea pig cage. I'm going to walk you through the different steps so that you, in case you're planning on building a cage yourself, know how to do that. I'm going to start with some basic explanations of how our cage is designed, then share our list of supplies and then walk you through the building process. So some basic remarks first. The base of our cage consists of OSB plates or OSB boards. They have some wooden beams underneath them. These beams are kind of framing the cage. They hold the pond liner and different OSB plates in place and provide a sturdy base. The cage is so big so that I need to be able to put my full weight on it in order to clean it. Our cage is designed to hold my weight and also consists of more parts than our old cage. This is because we want to be able to move with it. You can of course use fewer parts than we did. We also decided to get all of the parts cut in the hardware or lumber store. If you have a garage and the right tools, you can of course save money by doing this yourself. And since not all of our measurements worked out, I'm not going to give you a complete blueprint for this cage. If you want to replicate this cage, please double check all measurements or better yet, just take them yourself. So before you build a cage, you obviously need to know what you're going to need. So let's start off with the supplies we needed to build this cage. All right, that all sounds super complicated. So let's get into the building of the cage so that you see where stuff goes. So first of all, we put our three base OSB boards on the wooden beams. A few of the beams are underneath the OSB, right in the middle for extra stability. Then we use screws to attach the beams to the OSB. Next up is the pond liner. The pond liner protects the wooden base from any liquid soaking through. You will still need bedding or fleece for your piggies, but the pond liner acts as extra security for the OSB base. The pond liner is in between the wood and the bedding or fleece liner. The pond liner goes on all OSB plates, the base, the mezzanine and the level. You can easily cut it using scissors. We cut the pond liner put it on the floor and then lowered the base on top of it. The top side of the base lies on the pond liner. The pond liner is then tightly wrapped around the base and secured with a frame made out of wooden beams. The frame goes around the entire outside of the cage. These are the same beams that we used for the middle of the cage to support it. And this is what the finished base looks like underneath. And this is the top. The mezzanine and the level work exactly the same. So I'm going to show you that in more depth. We cut the pond liner in size and you can see that here for the level and then here for the mezzanine. And then we wrapped it around the OSB and attached it with these wooden beams. Next, we put the walls in place. There's a side wall, three back walls, and then two walls for the drawer. We drilled the holes first and then used screws to attach them to the wooden frame of the base. So you might see a pattern here, everything always gets attached to the wooden frame of the base. So this frame is really super important. And the mezzanine base goes in. The screws go into the wooden frame that is around the OSB board.
Now it's time for the back wall. These two boards are a little bit bigger because that's where the level will be attached to. So the back wall consists of two larger walls and then a smaller one. Next up is the safety railing for the level. The level currently consists of the OSB board, the pond liner and the frame. We started by pre-drilling holes into the railing and into the level. The railing is one of the smaller wooden boards, the same ones that also go below the windows later. And that's where the wooden dowels come in. We decided to attach the railing like this because this way we can easily change something about it or modify it. Since the level is quite heavy and also needs to support the weight of well-fed popcorn and guinea pigs, we added two metal angles to the level and pre-drilled the holes in the back wall. In order to make the front of the cage, we follow the exact same steps that we just did for the level. This means we first pre-drill the holes into the smaller wooden boards, then we drill holes into the frame of the base, then put the wooden dowels in and attach the wooden boards to the frame. The same also goes for these long wooden boards where the plexiglass will go. Then it's time for the U-profiles to go in. We used a tiny bit of super glue to attach them to the boards. We did this instead of attaching them with screws because the screws are in the way when sliding in the windows later. We used screws in our first DIY cage and we're struggling with the windows being kind of wobbly. A more elegant way would be to cut into the boards so that the windows slide right into the wood. That way you wouldn't need any U profiles. But you do need the right tools for this, which we didn't have and also we don't really have a space where to cut the wood. This would, however, be an improvement that you could make if you'd like and have the space and proper tools for it. A couple of tiny drops of super glue go on each of the three U profiles and these hold one window in place. This gate is from our very first DIY cage, so I don't have any footage of us making it. It is, however, very easy to make. We just used a timber board, sketched the outline of the gate with a pencil and then cut it into size. We did this in our living room with a very simple saw. Then you smooth it out with sandpaper and attach a metal hinge. We did end up polishing the gate with some sandpaper as the guinea pigs loved to chew on it and it was looking a bit used or rather well loved. And the gate is in the cage. We also included a drawer in our guinea pig cage. I think I'm going to make a separate video for this because it's still not completely finished and we're still working on it and improving it. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time!